This is code.org. Let's see what we have. In my neighborhood, instantiate a painter plus. There's that scary word. It just means, once again, guys, make an instance. Create a version of our painter plus object. So we're going to instantiate, right? We have this class over here, painter plus, but the class doesn't run itself. It's not being used at all. It just exists out here. And so we're going to instantiate, we're going to make a concrete instance of it. I guess not concrete, but a usable one, something we can do with. That's what an object is. It is a usable instance of this class. And that's what it is when we make one up for the painter class too, by doing painter my painter. Oh, it's like a poem. All right. So I'm going to do painter plus because that's the name of the object. Now I'm going to say, do they tell us? Ooh, how creative my painter plus is going to be the name of the oh that's the name of the object this is the type of the object and now we need to call the constructor and to do that we do new painter plus and we put parentheses after it whoop and i forgot the equals so all we're doing here guys and this is it's a confusing concept and it's always going to be i don't know how else to say that better all right, so what we're doing though is we're creating an object. What's an object? An object is an instance, it's a version of the class. This class isn't usable. This class is a shell, it's an example. It's, it's out there to be used, but it can't actually be used unless we instantiate it. We create a version that we can interact with. This is just the blueprint. And so we need to use the blueprint and ask it to make something. What that blueprint is being asked to make, notice the new painter plus, so new says new instance of what? Painter plus. Painter plus is the method. The computer says, what in the heck is painter plus? And it goes, oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Okay, wait, but it has, and notice right here, right there. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a method. So it needs smack. And it runs this super. Super, all super does is give all of the, gives painter plus everything painter used to be able to do. It says super, well, what's above this? Oh, painter plus extends painter. Okay, painter's above this. So the fact that the painter could move, the painter could paint, the painter we could do dot is on bucket, all that stuff the painter can do. And now it says, oh, we need to give it all of that. So it says super, well, the super's the painter and running painter plus way back over here means Okay, push out, output all of the stuff that Painter could do. It now also belongs to this object we just created, my Painter Plus. So in a rudimentary sense, Painter Plus, this is the object type. The type of object is going to be the Painter Plus. It is telling it, hey, Painter Plus, right there. That's what we're going to be using. This tells it where to find some of the code, but that's beside the point. This tells it, hey, Painter Plus, we're creating a version of this class. Boom. My Painter Plus is the name we're calling it. New means it's entirely on its own. We're going to create a new object from, and then what's the method? Painter Plus. Boom. 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 Oh, okay. Painter Plus. Yep. Run this. Super. Super. What's super? Oh, it's the painter. Give all of the stuff the painter can do to whatever we're making right now. Boom. Give it all the painter stuff. Slap. All right. It's a few steps. It gets easier as we go. Maybe not, but it gets to make more sense, I think. Ah, we'll find out. It's fun either way. Let's keep going. Oh, we just did all of this, right? Yep, we're just adding that. Probably should double check. But, uh, onward.